Cosmic Wanderer, this is Mission Control, all systems online. Your mission is to travel to our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, and finish at the supermassive black hole at its center. Ahead of you is Earth. From this distance, it already feels unreal, and yet it's carrying everything, every person you've ever met, every city on the map, every argument, every love story, every quiet thought you never said out loud. A fragile world, suspended in an ocean so vast that distance starts to feel like another form of time. The sun comes into view. Its light takes about eight minutes to reach Earth. So if something happened to it, our planet wouldn't even know for those eight minutes. And as you keep drifting away, you start seeing our whole neighborhood for what it is. One star, a few small planets, and one blue world. Our home where all humans and all life as we know it exists. As the distance grows, the sun starts to shrink too. Not because it's getting weaker, but because the distances in space are so immense. As we accelerate, it becomes just another bright point among many. And most of the lights you see out here are suns as well. And around many of them, there are planets, worlds waiting out there, skies no human eyes have seen yet, entire solar systems living their own silent lives in the dark. We're going to need a lot more speed now. Interstellar space is where distance stops being intuitive. The stars begin to rush past faster and faster. And with every second, you're crossing gaps so huge that at normal speeds, they would take longer than human history just to begin. On the far right of your view, that brighter dot isn't a star. It's the Andromeda Galaxy, about 2.5 million light years away. And here's the strange part. If someone over there looked back toward Earth, they wouldn't see us as we are today. They'd be watching the past, long before modern humans ever built a single city. Just over a hundred years ago, we didn't even know Andromeda was a separate galaxy. People thought it was just a cloudy patch inside the Milky Way until we finally proved it was an entirely different galaxy, millions of light years away, containing around a trillion stars. Andromeda isn't just sitting out there. It's being pulled toward us by gravity, and we're being pulled toward it. In the distant future, the Milky Way and Andromeda are expected to collide and merge into one much larger galaxy. As we accelerate even faster to intergalactic speed, the Milky Way starts revealing its full shape in front of us, unfolding into a massive spiral of light and shadow. A galaxy about 100,000 light years across, packed with hundreds of billions of stars, all bound together in one glowing structure drifting through the dark. Watching the galaxy shrink in the distance is strangely calming. The more space you see, the more your problems lose their weight. Not because they weren't real, but because you can finally see the scale they live inside. Out here, everything feels quieter, and you're reminded how much larger reality is than our tiny little planet. On your left, a faint hazy patch comes into view. That's the large Magellanic Cloud. It isn't a star, and it isn't a smudge of dust. It's a small galaxy of its own, about 160,000 light years away, held close by the Milky Way's gravity like a companion that never really leaves. All around you now, the bright dots aren't stars anymore. They're galaxies. Each one is an island of light packed with billions of suns and countless worlds. And this is only a small glimpse of what exists out there. The observable universe is estimated to contain around two trillion galaxies. So when you stare into the dark, you're not staring into nothing. You're staring into space that's full. Full of distant galaxies, full of motion, full of time. It's hard not to wonder how many strange planets are out there, waiting in the quiet, under suns we'll never even learn the names of. It's almost overwhelming to look around and realize what you're actually seeing. Those tiny smudges of light aren't close, and they aren't small. 
They only look small because they're unimaginably far. Some of that light began traveling toward us before Earth even existed. And somewhere inside, many of those galaxies are stars being born, stars dying, planets forming, atmospheres changing, whole timelines unfolding right now while we drift through the space between. We're traveling faster than the speed of light. It's the only way to make this journey. And if you look closely at the view, you're seeing our local neighborhood of galaxies, the local group. On the right, that tiny speck of light is the Milky Way. On the left, Andromeda. They look small from here, but each one is a giant city of stars, separated by about 2.5 million light years. It's hard to believe this view is even real. For most of human history, people couldn't prove any of this. There were times when saying the universe was bigger than what we could see wasn't just unpopular. It could cost you everything. And now, here we are, looking out at a vast universe filled with galaxies in every direction. Like reality is finally showing us how much more exists beyond our instincts and beliefs. From out here, it's hard not to laugh at how serious we are about everything. We fight over lines on maps, titles, money, pride, while the universe is quietly overflowing with galaxies and we're just one species on one planet inside one of them. Andromeda is still small ahead, but it's no longer just a random light. It has presence, a faint, stretched glow that stands out from the darkness. And the thought behind it is almost unreal. That tiny looking patch is a whole galaxy holding around a trillion stars. Now the full face of Andromeda is in front of you. What used to be a faint smudge in Earth's sky becomes a massive detailed galaxy, bright at the center, stretched wide, and layered with dark streaks of dust. It's the kind of view that makes you forget you're watching a screen, because your brain starts treating it like a real place. As you slide past, Andromeda shifts to the side and stretches into a long, bright band, almost like a glowing river of stars. It's the same galaxy, just seen from a new angle. And it's a reminder that these shapes aren't images. They're real structures made of suns, dust, and gravity, drawn across space on a scale that feels impossible. Now you're inside Andromeda. Stars rush past in every direction, and the closer you move toward the core, the brighter it gets. Not from one source, but from countless stars crowded together. Gravity is stronger here, pulling everything inward, and buried in that glow is the final destination. The supermassive black hole at the center. Right ahead is the core. A dense cluster of stars packed so tightly, their light blends into one bright region. This is the heart of Andromeda, held together by gravity. And hidden in the very center of that glow is the anchor of the galaxy. A supermassive black hole. As we move deeper into that bright core, it becomes almost impossible to see what's hiding in the middle. The light is so dense, so crowded, that it washes everything out. But that blinding glow has a center, and at that center is the target, M31 star, the supermassive black hole of Andromeda. You don't see the black hole the way you see a planet. What you see is everything around it, gas and dust being pulled inward, heating up as it spirals faster and faster, turning the area into a bright, violent ring. The darkness is there, buried behind the glare like a missing piece of the universe. And the closer we get, the more gravity starts bending the light itself, warping the scene like space is being stretched around something that refuses to be seen. Prepare yourself. We're going even closer now, slow and steady. This region is unstable, and the closer we get, the harder it becomes to keep our instruments clean. Gravity is extreme, radiation is intense, 
and the signal may start to break up. From here on, even light doesn't travel the way you expect. The black hole finally reveals itself. A deep, dark oval carved into the bright chaos around it. That edge you're seeing is the event horizon, the point where escape stops being possible. And the light wrapped around it isn't coming from the black hole. It's coming from matter being torn apart and superheated as it spirals in, glowing like a ring of fire around a darkness that refuses to reflect anything back. Keep the approach slow. You're entering the zone where gravity starts to twist the scene around you. The stars won't sit where they should anymore. Light is being bent into curves, stretched into arcs, pulled into strange shapes as space itself warps. You may notice the signal getting unstable. That's expected. The closer you get, the more the black hole's environment interferes with everything. The intense radiation, the turbulent flow of hot material. We thought we lost you for a second there. Welcome back. This mission was a success. Prepare yourself. There are more adventures waiting among the galaxies.